Boom Shakalaka Laka Mame Show Network versus Chaos Dwarfs. That name looks vaguely familiar. Well, it's not actually esports drama, it's esports drama. Ah, it's fun. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Bull Center with block, another with blood. Oh, break tackle. A Minotaur with guard. Uh, nothing on the blockers, that's good. One with guard. And then Hobgoblins with nothing. So the only one that has any, like, is this dude. So I guess that's a bull carry. What do I have? Things I should ask myself before I spin. Uh, Dodge Block Pro. Dodge Block Pro. Something else. And Saba. I do not know. I don't think I played against that person before. <sighs> okay, so good news here. Uh, the bull centaurs aren't actually that scary because we also have strength four pieces. Bad news, the Chaos Dwarf Walkers are really scary to our thralls. So, uh, this might be a problem. How many vampires do I have? I have too many. I've got five. Five? Where would you possibly have five? Uh, that's a very good question. I guess you've got pro on three of them. Yeah. I think I've got pro on more of them, actually. Let's see. At least three. I've got pro on four... Four? No, three. Okay, three. Uh... So apparently I am kicking uh hmm I am going to have to put vampires on the line here because I know that there is is one uh uh dwarf blocker with a uh, guard I could spread them now. Hmm. This is, uh. Oh, I have a thrall with wrestle. That's good. Uh, so. Let's do that. This is not... Okay, let's put... <laughs> this is not the greatest connection, I don't think, because the... The clicking... Is not the the quickest of clicks. Um... Okay. Let's just eat our team, I guess. Well, hopefully you've badly hurt both your vampires, so... You'll be fine on rerolls. All right, and there's a minotaur here as well. So yeah, he's gonna he's gonna block me down quite a lot. Uh, but what we are gonna do is we're just gonna go for the bull centaurs here. He's if he's not if, if the hobgoblins are not holding on to the ball, he's actually really bad at handling the ball, and he's only got two hobgoblins uh, and the bull centaurs. Well, they can run away from us. But, uh, we'll see how that goes. Do I have a kick guy? No, I don't. So, basically, uh, get to the ball, steal the ball, and have possibly a good time. Oh, that is actually a really nice kick for me. Uh, because both of these guys are in range. And that means I can use that number, Fang! To maybe hypnogaze someone. And then, uh, blitz through if possible. No, not wrestle. You're supposed to... You're supposed to get both down. And then we'll wrestle. Okay, that's not good. Uh, 
Whew, okay. This is two minute turns. This is supposed to go super quick. But that only happens when I have to think a lot, I guess. Okay, so let's see. He's not going to pick it. Oh, he's going to give it to uh, the block guy. That's very nice of him. Why is he blitzing your vamp? He must he must be, but with who? With the ball center? No, like that he he can't because, reach that. Uh, I don't understand that move then. Need to drive. Well, actually it's it's a very it's a very if you know how I play, it's a sneaky move. Uh because he 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 knows. He knows that I can't resist a, a surf. So but he doesn't gain anything from it right now. No, he doesn't gain shit from it. Okay. Oh, that's very rude of him. Well, he hasn't found your vampire, so it's not super rude. Nope. He he could be he could be ruder. That's true. Uh, okay, so let's start with the important bit. Uh, yes. No. Ah, oh, and I sneak in my first roll. No, I'm fine. Okay, so that's a bad start. Let's, uh... And in case people wondered why I wanted to use, um... A reroll rather than pro, it's because I didn't want that to happen. Because if that happened, I couldn't surf that guy. Uh... Did you not follow up because of the frenzy on the Minotaur? Yep. And also, I didn't want there to be, like... I'd rather have it like this, because now he can't go through. Uh, well, actually, he, he, he's going to be able to shortly. Yeah, he can just stand up. And this poor vampire gets to stand up. <laughs> And, ooh, do I dodge him out? Hmm. Nope. I was surprised you didn't blitz with him. I can't blitz with him. Like, he, there's too much guard around. And there's, like... I might, I might have been able to blitz him out, but, like... Blitzing just for the sake of blitzing doesn't really appeal to me. Like, if sure, like blitzing is great, but just like just blitzing for the sake of blitzing usually put gets you into more trouble than it's worth. So if I don't need to blitz, then I don't need to blitz. He's doing it again. He's taunting me. Actually, now it might be because he wants to blitz with the bull centaur here. Yep. Um. See where the miniature is gonna go. Okay, no, he's not. He's probably he's not gonna blitz with the bull center. Then I don't think because, like, what's the point if you're standing all you do is like this? You're not gonna run through.
Yeah. Uh, this isn't like. Uh, he might have forgotten that I'm playing vamps. Blitz him with the Minotaur. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna blitz this man plan. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why why is this oh. happening? I'm not sure. Okay, so the problem here is the dwarves. No, the problem is that I want to hypnogaze one of these guys so I can run in and blitz. Mm -hmm. But to do that, I'm going to have to use the middle square, which I don't want to use because it's going to be um, um, then hypnogazing in two uh, tackle zones. Uh, if I use one of the side squares, I can't actually get to... Uh, can't you just... Oh, why well, you can't do that? I was thinking you could just stand up the guy and hypnogaze the dwarf right next to him. Reroll, yes. No. So what we need to what we're gonna do instead is hopefully Um Oh hey, would you look at that? Well that didn't do anything. Well, I rolled four ones in a row. You're gonna run out of time anyway. Nah, I had enough time. All I wanted to do was hypnogaze the guard uh, dwarf because then I could have blitzed with the down newly dead game, and it would have been a two die block, and I could have put a a tackle zone on the bolt carrier. And now I'm going to take a beating instead. Well, that's fine. We need to... Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what he does now. Because I have a lot of... I have a lot of dudes based his other dudes. Uh, so he can either, like, elect to... Oh, that's a ballsy second block. Ah, that is... That is the worst. Um, my dudes are. I've got two dudes out. Okay. So I probably, I might have to start doing some bullshit here because uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat my team shortly. Okay, that's that's actually fine. Like who's he? So 
So he needs to move. Yeah, so that's... That's actually... Okay, cool. Now I just need to... Not roll once, and it'll be great. Hypnogazing this bull centaur uh, because I want this thrall to move uh, down here because my plan is to blitz this bull centaur and I don't want the uh, bull to uh, uh, scatter. Stand up. Hypnogaze this dude. Thank you. And let's see. Now you get to go over here, hopefully. <sighs> okay. Or not. So that's bad. I could have I could have moved this thrall down, uh, but I didn't want to do that because I I might well, I need some someone around here to bite, I thought. Like, I didn't want to move them too far away. But in hindsight, I probably should have moved this thrall down this way because I could. Um, that minute was being awfully really cooperative. N well, that's like the first time he's moved him without blitzing, isn't it? Like the first or second yeah. time. So... And he does that 50% of the time, so it's not that bad. Uh, th the thing that's bad is that I'm, I keep snake-eyeing my 2 plus dodges, uh, because it means I can't... Uh, I can't do shit, which is annoying, because that's kind of the vampire's deal. Like, I'm not going to be able to get to this bull center now, so now I have to... Now I have to try and do something else, and I don't really have a strategy for doing something else. Like, I could try and take out his Chaos Dwarf blockers, but he's probably just going to punch me down because he's already up two players. So that's not really going to work. But, on the flip side, since he has like four dudes here now, I have an numerical advantage again, so I can actually uh, punch his dudes. So, we are going to move some dudes down. Now we're just going to punch up here because we can't really do much el else uh, at the moment. Um, uh, we need to get rid of this guy here so that if I fail my bloodlust, I can at least dodge out and bite this thrall. Uh, but that's a problem for later. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna punish people uh, a bunch instead. Yeah. Oh, I should have used pro. See, this is what happens when I when I roll too quick. Uh, when I just go through the motions. Uh, Tilt.
Okay, so that was, that was the friendliest bunch of vampires I've ever seen. And I don't want them to be friendly. I want him to hurt a few of the Chaos Dwarfs. So, I can do stuff. Uh, I mean, he's not going to score until turn 8. Um, he might score in turn 7, but I don't think so. Because I... Well, I'm out of rerolls, but I still have a lot of pros. And I have agility 4, so... Like, he's going to stand here for a while. The Minotaur and the Dwarf Walker might return up here into the fray. But it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay, and do. do, do. I might actually run this guy down and just to hypnogaze this bull centaur. No, and try and force him to score. Oh, actually, uh, can I do this? Yeah, I can. Well, that didn't help. Um. Okay, out you go. <laughs> Didn't really do much. Uh, but he's off, so... Made you feel better. Uh, I've felt better. Now start your magnificent comeback. That's the plan. This guy gets to stand up. And let's see, this guy is going to block this dude because why not? And we're going to sneakily follow up so we have someone in the end zone in like eight turns. Um, okay, so this guy gets to move down here. And. Actually, he's going to stay there because I... Well, actually, no. He's got pro. He can keep going. Look into my eyes. There we go. And uh, that's why I shouldn't have done that block, I guess. But that was actually... That was a decent turn. Uh, I, I didn't roll one. Uh, which is... And any turn I don't... You roll less ones than two uh, is a good turn. What if four of your players die in a turn? You sh well, you should... Well, they they can't in your turn. So you never said... You said a turn. Didn't specify that it was your turn. Well, it's the only... The turn where you can actually roll dice are your own. You could. Actually, no, you can't. Well, there, there is w in one instance where you can roll several dice. So let's see if you can figure out where in your opponent's turn. When they do two die. Nope. Hmm. And I'm not talking about armor value if he skulls himself. Ooh. This is a conundrum. I'm way too tired to think. Mm. That's problematic then. It is. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, boom. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, but first, let's run over here. Hmm. That's actually better. I think. No, it's actually the same. Why are you just moving that vampire right there? <laughs> the one I already moved. Because, well, I, because is, it just, I, is it just green? Because it's oh. Yeah, is it green. Sorry, I wasn't it, looking. Yeah. Okay. So that is better because I have. Yeah. I can't use dodge, but. No! Fuck. This game. So, that was super annoying. Uh, because I didn't get my blitz off because I... Not a game. Keep punching this dude. Slowly but surely. Did you say punching or pushing? Punching. Okay. So what he might do is blitz with the Minotaur. Um, actually, no, what he's going to do is he's going to use break tackle here. No, he might not actually because he's only strength four. No, he's going to break tackle over here and blitz that way. That's what he should be doing. Uh, especially because he's got dodge too, so that's the safest option. And then he can remove the vampire by just going boop. And it is turn 7, so he might actually be debating whether to score here or not. Uh, okay, so he's not going to score. He's just going to block here. Nope, he's going to blitz. It's so... Uh which uh, probably means he's going to score then, so that gives me two turns to equalize. Because he can't, ru he can't run and hide over here because I have a vampire. I guess he could try and hide further back, but I don't think... Like, that's not... Because I, he didn't knock me down. Yeah, there we go. Those guys did not want to come back. But that's okay. It's time for Vampire Pass play. The sickest of all vampire plays. Three, four, five, six. Okay, if I blitz that guy over there, then I need to hypnogaze that guy, then he can run through. But if I don't hypnogaze that guy. Okay. So, hypnogaze dude over here. Uh, let's see. We need one of you guys. Um, 
How many SVP do you have? Slayer cards, right? Okay. Uh, and you get to hang out with that thrall. Um. Yeah, that seems like my best option currently. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna try and hypnogaze first. And the reason we hypnogaze first is that if we fail, uh, we uh, we can then adjust accordingly. And we're gonna try and hypnogaze this guy. Which didn't work. So that means we uh, run around with this guy. Yes. And this is, once again, a, um, a me fucking up really hard moment. Because what I should have done, of course, is I should have moved the thrall first. And I wouldn't have had this, this issue. But for some reason, I didn't. Uh, and now I have to pay the price of not having that thrall anymore. On the well, more importantly, having one less having one less catcher actually is the main problem. No, that's not how I want you to run. I want you to go stand over here. Oh, hey! That's nice. Let's follow up, and then... We're actually gonna have to dodge... Ooh, it worked. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um... Yeah, let's go one further up. Yes. Okay, and he failed his bloodlust too. And that's really risky because I've, if I failed that, then I would have had a bad time. <laughs> okay, end action. Bite that guy. And he's stunned. Okay. Let's see. He has two options here. He can either... Do, 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 do. He can either just blitz with a minotaur and try and knock me down which is a bit unlikely or you can just try and like put dudes around these two which is probably the much better option uh, it also means I'm probably going to have to pass to one of the thralls and then try and do two GFIs if they somehow manages to catch it because I don't think he's going to block the um, thralls as hard as the vampires Okay, let's see. Uh, I need to do one GFI regardless. This is actually much nicer because I can I can blitz my way free here if I want to, but he, he still has one. He still has his blitz that he needs to do somewhere. Um, and he's probably gonna blitz this vampire with the bull centaur probably because he can oh that is I don't think that's the correct move Mm, 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 mm. Nope, that 
is not the correct move. Uh, because need here's the thing, um, like let's see one two one. Yeah, that's that's the play. Um I wish that was the case. I'm gonna have to hand off I'm gonna have to pass with the thrall. Which is uh gonna be slightly tricky. Uh especially now when I'm gonna have to dodge uh through tackle zones. Okay, well then. You got this. I'm I might. Let's see. Holy moly. Okay. Hand off to that guy. No. I rolled a 1. How come you can pro? Because I rolled a one on the catch. Oh. Oh. 